Okay, here's a video of this is John Rahm at the Tournament of Champions, 72nd hole. He hits it over the green and has a short pitch shot, but he's got an upslope. He's sitting on an upslope here. You can kind of see the angle of the of the slope. And uh, Paul Azer commented that this is an easy shot for a tour pro, which yeah, I think it really wasn't too difficult. But it's interesting how a lot of players don't understand how to hit this particular shot. So on an upslope, and the ball nestled down just a little bit, one thing that's going to happen if you execute this shot properly is you're not going to have much of a follow through at all. The club head is, is, is going to kind of hit the ball, go into the slope, and it's going to stop. Now, because you're swinging at a slow speed, because we're, we're trying to hit a short shot, um, the follow through, which you'll see here in a second, you know, there's hardly any follow through at all on this shot, but yet he hit a, he executed it perfectly. Now, the average golfer, when they, when they don't follow through, if they miss hit it, they hit the ground first, they don't hit the ball, you know, their playing partners say, oh, you got to follow through. Well, the reality is the follow through is dictated by the collision of the club against the ball and the turf and the slope and the ground conditions. All these things are factors, the angle of attack, all right, and the club head speed, all right? So when we watch this thing as he's coming into the golf ball, I'll start clicking through this. This was done in slow motion on, on TV. I forget there was slow motion like that. So now, again, the camera, don't know if the camera is sitting at uh, perfectly level to the ground. I'm going to say they probably have all kinds of gadgets on their cameras to get them nice and level because I think they're trying to show you the slope here. So there's there's Rom as he's coming into the golf ball. And then let me find impact there. Okay, there's the ball starting to come up. Let me go back one. So that's about an reasonable impact position. Now, now do we know if this is... Um, oops, let me go down a little bit more. Uh, I was going to try to measure that shaft angle. It's not that hard to do. You know, to my eye, quick look at it, you know, it's maybe 12 degrees of shaft lean. And then there's the ball coming up. So then, again, the shaft lean becomes a little bit less. But watch what happens here. So you, you can see the handle of the club just keeps moving. Now, he's not increasing the shaft lean on purpose. It's just that the club head is stopped as it hit the ball, then into the slope. He wasn't trying to follow through. He was just trying to make solid contact with the golf ball. No need to follow through on this shot. And his hands keep going, which tells you that's what the intent of his hands were to keep the club, the, sh the, the handle of the club moving. The club head just didn't follow because it collided with something. So just imagine in a car, you're driving 10 miles an hour and you run into someone. You know, you may have a little bit of damage, but your club, your car is going to stop. Now, if you're driving 100 miles an hour, now we got a completely different situation. Okay, so look, we don't need to be following through. Now watch John Rahm uh, hit this shot. That's exactly how we hit him. Watch that again. It looks like he, he chopped at it. I don't, it looks like he chopped at it, but it, it, if, if he could have, if he was on a down slope, level ground, he would have fallen, the club head would have fallen through. But because of the fact that there was some slope and the ball nestled down, that's what it is. Now, that's something I would love for you guys to practice looking just like that after impact. But to get a good idea how to do that, just find an upslope, get your sand wedge or lob wedge, and hit some shots. Club head, let the club head hit the ball, go into the 
uh, into the grass, very little follow through. And you almost hold that one. Okay. I've got another one uh, with Colin Morikawa coming, so take a look at that one too. Thanks.